If you leave the asphalt and enter one of our wood chip paths into our tropical garden, you'll discover this stunning fig tree that comes from New Guinea. It's called the dinner plate fig. You can see why with these enormous pleated leaves. So this is Ficus damaropsis or the dinner plate fig and look at the size of these enormous pleated leaves. It has amongst the largest leaves of any fig tree in the world. It comes from the highlands of New Guinea. It grows between about 800 metres and two and a half thousand metres. It's a relatively small tree, only grows to about 10 to 12 metres tall. The dinner plate fig in part because these leaves were used for wrapping suckling pigs and baking in underground ovens. Like all figs, they have this characteristic structure that covers and protects new leaves. That's called a stipule, and that'll be ejected as the leaves emerge. Now, these also have enormous synconia. So that's the, the flowering structure of a fig. The flowering parts are held inside that structure. And like all figs, it requires a very small wasp to enter into that synconia to get covered in pollen and later emerge and help pollinate the figs. So the dinner plate fig in Australia doesn't have the requisite fig wasp because each fig pretty much has its own species of wasp. So ours don't produce any seed and they're also difficult to grow from cuttings. We often have grown these from aerial layering, but it's an unforgettable and spectacular small tree growing in the tropical garden here at the Royal Botanic Garden, Sydney.